Hello everyone, and welcome to uh, what is normally called Wall Plays Wesnoth, um, but today is Wall Watches Wesnoth. Um, the reason for that is that this is the replay file for the campaign level that I just finished playing. Uh, if you'll remember, we were up to um, the second half of level two of Fall of Silvium campaign, playing as the Lavinian Legion. Uh, we just defeated this green leader here, uh, and then some blue guys had turned up. Uh, now that was all well and good. Uh, I then played through the rest of the level and made what I thought was a recording, but actually turns out to be a corrupted file. Um, unfortunately, um, I don't really have time to go record it again um, because we're about to go to an engagement party, uh, you know, and life doesn't stop and blogs has to happen and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, in the absence of it having anything else planned, uh, what I thought we'd do is I'm just going to play through the replay file. Um, um, do a bit of commentary over the top, trying to remember what I said, what I was worried about at the time, and all that. Um, so Wesnoth has this great feature that records uh, how you played through every level, and then you can replay it back later and make commentary, decide what you should have done better, all that sort of stuff. Um, it does mean that what I could have done is sort of saved and loaded all those times, and you wouldn't know. Um, uh, but I actually didn't. I know it's hard to believe, um, but for once... I got lucky enough through an entire level to finish it without trying, uh, without having to reload. So I'm just going to hit the play button and we're just going to play out what actually happens. So this is at the end of last video, you'll remember we beat up these last couple of guys uh, and we took on, uh, we, we took on this uh, Marauder leader here, which I think should be coming up pretty soon, he says. Yeah. There we go, he's dead. So, then the blue guys turn up and we fight them. So first up, we want to clear out these guys up in this northern section. Uh, and then we want to retreat back to the city. So Caius is really concerned about all these extra marauders that have just turned up on the right hand side of the map. Uh, and in order to fight them, he's called, he's called all those guys that are way up on the western side of the map back down. Um, which is alright, except that they're quite slow and the marauders are much faster through this forest terrain So it's going to be a bit of a race to see which of us can get back to the city first um, If you'll recall the lose conditions for this map are to lose Centaurus who is the allied leader to lose our own leader uh, Or to have one of the villages in the city captured by the enemy um, So we don't want to let that happen. I'm just going to clear out these guys here Get back and make sure we can keep the enemies out of the villages so that's what we're doing there, getting those guys back. And uh, yeah, we're just basically setting up a defensive perimeter around the city. Going to get some auxiliaries onto the village tiles themselves, and then just build, try and build a defensive wall with legionaries and archers, mm -hmm. with a couple of horsemen here and there to try and provide some defense. Um, we've got, at the moment, we've got a strong economic advantage because we took all those villages. Um, but we are going to lose that as the time goes by, as those blue guys sort of flood across the map and take back all those villages from us. Um, so we just got to take, uh, we've got to be very careful with our finances, really take advantage of this couple of turns that we do have some money coming in uh, and try and, uh, you know, try and get the soldiers that we're going to need to hold for the rest of the level. Um, so what we're trying to do here is sort of hold this central hold this central area from these from these units while these guy, other guys try to get back across. Um, it turned out it didn't work that well for me, uh, but I guess we're not going to see that quite yet because it takes a little while for these blue guys to finish their turn. There's quite a few of them. As you can imagine, we could skip their turn, but you don't you just want to see those marauders fly around and those little boat guys just like ride their boats through the snow? That's obviously a bug. Um, yet another bug that I will have to fix with the Imperial Era. So put that one in your list guys um, or you can fix it for me hey always looking for more guys to help so yeah um, we're gonna try and hold this terrain here but you can see with the three guys we got here and all these guys coming down that's gonna become increasingly difficult so what we're gonna do is try and fall back to this little island here and hold this island and give up everything north of the river just say we don't care about it you marauders can have it we're only interested in defending the city so that's what we go ahead and do uh, this orange guy up the north there, he's he's stuffed um, because the AI doesn't understand that retreating to the city is important, so he just stays up there and gets killed. He does, however, provide a useful distraction. Um, so what I've, I've left my centurion here on this side of the river to try and get my archers back across the river without dying. Um, yep. 
So the enemy mage is coming after us, and um, he's got killed for her trouble. Yeah, that archer up there, he's he's dead. Unfortunately, our archers also get attacked. That one levels up, so that's handy to have a level 2 siege archer. But once again, just like the level 1 unit, they don't have any melee attack at all. So they're very vulnerable to these big marauder attacks, especially given that it's coming up to night time. Um, this moves a little bit fast in replay mode for me to really talk about, you know, the positioning of troops and all that sort of thing. But you can get a bit of an idea of the general flow of this level and what I was trying to do, at least. Um, you know, uh, I really like the way this level flows in that, like, you get aggressive, you go out there, you beat up that first guy, then the second guy turns up and you've got to play defensive again. You've got to bring all your guys back, you've got to hold the city, and you're going to lose a bunch of your guys trying to do it, you know. So it's really... Um, you know, I'm trying to make it really tight. Unfortunately, I couldn't get these archers back across the river fast enough, so it leaves my centurion in an unfortunate position. I don't want to lose him, um, but I also don't. I didn't want to let him go. So yeah, hyper CBUs. I don't know. Oh no, come back. Where's not? Yep. Uh, so I've left him in the river there, which is not ideal. But luckily, these guys go up to fight this archer. So we managed to live through that little error which could have cost us our uh, could have cost us Septimus who is a handy guy to have around as it is this crusher is a lucky dude yeah there's 50% chance to miss there and he hit five out of six shots okay so those guys are really into the river now they're gonna push across but we've got a good number of units sitting there waiting for them to get across there so that we can really pound on them which is good because we're gonna need to do a lot of pounding if we're gonna win this level much pound. The Vinians are however good at pounding, they get those shields out and they just whack. So, yeah. Okay, oh, I paused, that was a mistake. Okay. So, that Siege Archer is somehow still alive, and sure enough, he makes it to Sagittarius. It's not going to help him, but he's still alive. For now. So, finally, the Centurion gets back across the river there, and get Septimus and, and, uh, what's the other guy called? Septus back across the river. That's good. So I'm trying to set up a bit of a defensive ring here with the horsemen out here as an attack unit. The rest of them are playing defense. These two guys on the island, their job is just to hold that fort as long as they possibly can, try and delay anyone trying to use the bridge. Um, you can see those crushers absolutely devastating to our archer units. They just they just they completely wreck them. Um, those units with no melee attack at all just get absolutely destroyed my marauders. Um, but the marauders don't have that many options to really break through those archers. The archers have high defense, so they, their choices are the fire attacks of the warriors or using crushers, basically. Um, now this little legendary on the island, Naeus, he is a good guy. He um, holds the territory for a long time when we really need him to, otherwise we would have been in some nasty situations. Yep, so the blue guys just taking their time, securing all the villages, trying to do that. Um, but hopefully we don't let them into the town to secure those villages. So here they come. The orange guys, you can see, pretty much devastated. Centaurus is the only guy left, and when he's the only guy left, he starts doing some strange things. So he goes out there and he attacks this crusher, which, in the middle of the night, so the crusher's doing a lot of damage. It's a really not a wise thing for him to do, given that if he dies, I lose the level. So he's put me in a really awkward situation here, and now I have to try and defend him, because I'll lose him and then I'll lose. Um, makes life difficult. So then you can see more marauders arrive down the bottom west, and Caius calls the general retreat on the town. So he's, he's we've now given the civilians one day to get all their stuff together, get ready to go. So we've got to hold the city for one more day. Um, one day more, one more, yep, yeah, one more day. Um... <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, that was that was a foolish attack with that horse because I I didn't check the numbers well enough. I didn't realize the horse couldn't kill the enemy in one turn. Still, our guys are back across the river here, so that's looking really solid. That Sagittarius is finally going to give up the ghost, I imagine. Or is he? Or is he? Oh, look at him go! Oh, there he goes. Yeah. So, um, still, he's provided an adequate distraction when we needed one. So, good on. Good on Septimus and his guys. Sorry, Centaurus and his guys. Okay, you see this Crusher going after Naeus, but Naeus is unstoppable there in that fort. He is not going anywhere. 
So good on him. See these guys coming across the river are having less luck because they're really fighting uphill given that we have the good defensive ground and they really don't. The crushers are getting lucky-ish. Um, but apart from that, um, you know, where we're holding, we're holding pretty well here. We've got through that night, so now we have a, daytime, a couple of daytime turns, some time to really throw down some damage, um, which we're going to need, really clear out some of these guys that are hanging in the river, because while they're in the river, they're, they're pretty poor, and we can, we can sort of beat them. So what we're ending up trying to do here, kill off a few of those guys, make sure we're keeping guys in villages to either heal or just to hold them so that the marauders can't get into them. Um, we've also got to keep a couple of guys in position to defend Centaurus because if he dies we lose. Um, so you can see I'm a little bit more aggressive here than I would normally play just because I know some of those boatmen have got some, some great movement points and that they might actually get in a situation where they can get to Centaurus. Um, push this auxiliary out here onto the island to kill that crusher given that it's daytime now and the crusher does very little damage in the daytime. Yep, so just rearranging my troops a little bit, try and get my legionaries back in the villages to get some healing. And here it's up to the blue guys to try and really break through this line. Um, and Naeus is just, look at him go, he just won't stop. Everyone else is falling all around him, but Naeus is holding the boat together, which is just excellent. Um, couple of auxilla here, um, you know, they're... You're showing why they're so cheap at this point, because of just how little health they really have. They're really quite fragile. Come on, Naeus. Hit him. Look at that guy. He's amazing. Um, new Appius is pretty good as well. You know how the old Appius sort of died and we were sad about it, but he didn't really do that much? New Appius, he is a tank. So, yeah, liking these guys. Really hoping that we can carry some of them through to the next level. Um, yep. Alright, so blue guy's coming down hard now from both the east and the west. So we've got to sort of try and defend on all of the northern side. And Centaurus pulls himself into the middle of danger yet again, which is... Uh, which is a problem. Okay. So Naeus lets us down by missing his shots there. Luckily that little auxiliary saves the day. We can get Septus up there to defend Septimus. We're all good. Had to kill that guy off because he could get across. Um, so yeah, just pulling back a little bit so we can try and defend New Appius. Make sure we clear out these guys on this side, which is all going very well. That 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 auxiliary, for example, he really has no business being alive, but he did it. Um, but yeah, daytime we can use our use our shields and really do a lot of damage to these guys. Um, so we really sort of devastated their force this last couple of turns, which is exactly what we needed because we were looking like we were going to be completely overwhelmed. Uh, so they're still coming, but we got it. It's been good knowing you, Naeus. You were, um, you'll go down in the record books as a pretty cool legionary. Did the job when we needed it in that man. Now, um, what we want to make sure we do here as much as possible is not only hold the town, um, we need to be looking to conserve at those loyal units as much as we possibly can now. So I've been throwing Septus and Septimus and Jugurthus right into the battle a lot. Um, because, you know, they're such powerful units, um, but at some point I need to start thinking about holding them as well, using them, f you know, keeping them for the next level. And I didn't do that early enough here. You might, I think it's this turn, maybe the next one, you start seeing that I did a couple of silly things with them, put them in some dangerous spots. Okay, so we're pulling back, given that it's going to be night time, the enemies aren't pushing us that hard right now, so we're just trying to grab all the little towns, making sure that um, we can't let any of them sneak in, and uh, yeah, just getting ready for a couple of nighttime assaults. That auxiliary is dead, so we've completely ceded the river to the enemy now, and it's just a matter of holding this bank. Um, that fort in the middle of the river held a surprisingly long time, but uh, it's all over now. Yeah. So you see them coming in across the river, coming in on the west, coming in on the east. They're really everywhere at this point. We're pretty short on money. Our leader, who we had to stick in that village to defend it from that scout, uh, got slowed. So he's not going to be able to recruit us anymore. Guys, this turn, things are looking reasonably dire. It's still the middle of the night, but we still got a lot of units. Then Centaurus does that. Like... What is he even doing? He's put himself out in the middle of danger. He's a, a mandatory unit. 
and he's doomed there. Like the chances of him living through the next turn are incredibly slow. I throw everything at it, trying to trying to save him, um, but it's this is a really serious situation. That 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 guy, he, there's three or four units that can attack him, and he's got no health at all. So what I've done, tried to do, slow all the guys around him, fill up the space around him as much as possible. But things are looking really dire there. And meanwhile, I've still got this problem over on the over on the west front where these guys are going after the um, still going after these villagers. So I managed to zock that guy, and. Uh, we held that okay, and trying to get Caius back to town now to recruit our last couple of units. Uh, now this guy, he, Centaurus gets lucky, um, believe it or not. Um, three different guys attack him, and he gets hit zero times, which is <laughs> just wow. Um, that was our real moment of luck here, because we could have lost a level right there because of the dumb AI. Um, in the video that I thought I was recording, I was livid up to this point, knowing that, knowing that, you know, everything had gone perfectly to plan except for that guy throwing himself out there. And that's one of those things, situations I've never had happen in this level before. Normally, AI allies can be really infuriating. I've never had it happen on this level, um, probably because I don't normally play at high difficulty level like this. So. Um, what I'm going to do is go away and rewrite this level with a little bit of a more passive AI for him. I think it's a bit necessary that he doesn't try and kill himself um, because I would like the player to end up killing himself trying to save him rather than him doing stupid stuff. So, yeah, um, got to get through this last nighttime turn. So, once again, we're just trying to slow the enemies, keep them in the river, making sure we keep our guys in front of Centaurus and the villagers. And just holding the town, we think. I think we need maybe one more turn, and then the civilians, um, the civilians will be ready to evacuate. So we can start the running retreat just as soon as. Well, that guy's still alive. Just as soon as that's all finished, you can see those blue guys are still coming up on us, but they're about to be joined by the guys in the southwest. So got to watch out for that. Centaurus goes out again because he is a crazy dude. Thankfully, it's now round 12, so I don't care. Centaurus is no longer an objective. He's allowed to die. Well, who aren't allowed to die are these civilians. Um, so, what's changed here? What's changed here is that the villagers are now able to be occupied by the enemy. Centaurus is now allowed to die. All I care about is getting the civilians to safety evacuating the civilians and making sure that I don't lose Caius and all my loyal units along the way. Um, so we're doing all right with this. These guys up here still holding this end pretty well. Centaurus looks vulnerable there but we no longer care about him. These guys we've got to try and shelter from uh, these guys down here and also any other units that sort of sneak up on them. Um, we've got a field ballista here which we'd like to try and conserve if we can because that's a a good powerful unit that was going to be handy to have and our loyal units are looking okay I mean pretty damaged but still in the game alright so let's make it happen yeah, we probably could have done with a little bit more volume than we had there but well a bit late now Centaurus is dead there he goes he could have done so much more yeah, so I'm really trying to build this feeling of the whole team being just under complete attack. This whole campaign, you are running from the enemy, you know, you're under overwhelming odds and you've just got to try and defend what you can and retreat. And this is really, the, this is the camp, the level of the campaign that sets all that up. Like the first one, you can do the beat down a little bit. In this one, the enemy, there's just so many of them, you know, and you've got to retreat and you're going to lose your soldiers. You're going to lose so much of your advantage and you just got to pull you guys back. And so I really like the way that this, the new way that this level is set up, because it never used to be like this. There never, there was never that second and third Marauder leader at all. Um, I'm really enjoying that. So this turn, I'm trying to defend Septimus, because I've realized I've left him in a dangerous spot, and he's got swamped by those white guys. Um, but, you know, he's, he's still alive at the moment, uh, and we've got enough units around that we might be able to save him. So we just sort of rearrange our guys, try and kill off as many of these enemies as we can. Throw Jagurthus in there to kill that magic lady. And just just get the guys around Septimus so that we can keep him alive if we possibly can, because keeping those level 3 loyals uh, 
for the next for later in the campaign is just going to be absolutely crucial. Uh, and we, we forgot about it for a little while there, just trying to you know fill all those objectives. Uh, but but you know he's looking reasonably defended there, so that's that's okay. Um, at this point, we're starting to you know the end of the level is in sight. We've got to keep Caius alive, and we left him vulnerable there, and he got attacked. But he's okay, you know he's okay. Uh, and we've got to keep those civilians alive. But apart from that, you know, we can afford to focus on those secondary objectives of trying to keep some loyals, trying to build some experience, that sort of thing, which we've just been... There's been too much going on to really worry about that stuff up to this point. Uh, so it's just a matter of Jagurthus getting lucky there that he didn't die. Um, and this turn, given that it's the daytime, we should be able to try and get some of our civilians out of there and really just lay the smack down just kill off the last of these blue units that are bothering us um, or at least make a start on it and really just make sure we use the zone of control use the use all the space we've got to make sure that these guys aren't going to kill Caius or the civilians I had run to Gerthus over there because he's almost died he's almost dead and he's got nowhere else to go use our slinger to finish off these guys over this side it didn't really quite go to plan there actually that's fine. Now Septimus is now more useful than Jagathus, so we use him anyway. And yep, new Appius takes a net to the face. You can see these guys coming into the town here. Um, they still haven't actually managed to take one of their villages. There they go now. But thankfully, they're no longer an objective, so that's it's fine that they've taken those towns. Um, yeah, so we just kept that guy out. Thankfully, that guy aims for the Slinger for some reason instead of Septimus. So uh, that means we didn't lose any of them there. Uh, and our Legionary can go beat up on him, get some good experience into our Slinger. And we're looking now at a situation where we're two turns away from winning. We need one more turn, and things are looking rosy for us. So we just make sure... Um, you can see this situation, this this warrior is actually in a situation where he can get to our civilians. So I had to bring this legionary right around the outside, try and slow him. Um, so that we got in a situation where he couldn't get to those civilians. As it was in this situation, if this warrior came here and killed this archer, this warrior could still have run through here and killed him because I missed the slow attack. So I ended up having to bring Caius around here. Uh, as it is, this warrior has to attack here, then this warrior has to attack Caius. It's really the only way we can lose the level at this point. Um, apart from that, we're all good. So, did it happen? I'll give you a hint, it didn't happen. That guy attacked the archer. So the AI made a poor choice there, because uh, it doesn't really understand what it's trying to do, you know? Um, so luckily, the enemy can't beat us. We can use this turn to gather the necessary experience before we finish the level. And that's exactly what we do here. Try and get a little bit more experience into our um, our field ballista and our legionary here. Unfortunately, our field ballista doesn't win. That's unfortunate. And uh, just get our civilians out of there. And congratulations, you have completed this level. You are victorious. So that was the fall of Silvium. We have successfully defended the siege. Um, we've kept all our loyal units alive, including New Appius, who isn't actually loyal, but is loyal in our hearts. Um, we've got a field ballista with a decent amount of experience. We've got another legion with a little bit of experience. And we've got a slinger here. So um, all in all, we've come out positively in the level, and we've won it. So that was um, that was Siege of Sylvian, part two. Thank you for watching, uh, and we'll see you next week for more OBM goodness. Thank you.